Hello again YouTube, Mad Dog here. Welcome back to my channel. So on this video I thought I'd show you guys and lasses what I currently stock on my eBay shop. Um, I'm going to bring you over by the bench and we're going to take a look at each one of these items just briefly because there's quite a lot to get through here. So um, I'd recommend grabbing yourself a good brew. <sighs> Make yourself comfortable. Stay tuned. Welcome back. So I've brought you over by my little bench here and as you can see I've gone ahead and displayed my current selection of items that I sell on our little eBay shop over at Mad Dog Survival. Um, I'm going to start from my right and just quickly go through all these items just to show you guys and lasses what I currently offer um, because at the moment this is my inventory or one of each of the inventory but I do have plans for future further products which I'll I'll show as and when I get round to releasing those. So starting from my right this is a bag of fatwood shavings and my dust. Now from the offset I do try and give the best amount of portions that I can within the limitations of the postage and packaging otherwise it becomes financially unviable if I put any more in these packages then the PMP outweighs the, the price of the product so what I do with the fatwood shavings I do a mix of fine my dust and larger curls so that once you have your initial ignition you have enough fuel to keep the fire sustained onto which you would add your further kindling so that's the mad dog fatwood shavings We have the 8mm by 80mm ferrocerium rod and beveled washer, hardened beveled washer striker. So these come with a approximate 40 inch lanyard with a hardened beveled washer striker there. You can just make that out there in the pack. I use a hardwood uh, tool handle to mount the ferro rod into. So it makes a nice pocket sized fire kit whilst the beveled washer isn't absolutely perfect it's enough to get the job done but if you want to improve on your quality of your striker then obviously I'm going to recommend one of my Mad Dog ceramic strikers these are proving to be quite popular so there's the Mad Dog ceramic striker the actual tip uh, Mrs. Mad Dog always puts a bit of bubble wrap around it there just to protect the packaging and protect anybody handling this from the sharp edges. Again, hardwood tool handle with a small paracord lanyard and a small carabiner. These have multiple uses as I've shown and demonstrated in other videos. And that's the Fatwood Ceramic Striker. These work with most, well, all sizes of ferro cerium rod. Nice bit of kit that, and it will vastly improve your striking capability, your output of sparks from whichever ferro cerium rod you decide to purchase. Next, we have my Mad Dog Monster Kit. This currently is probably the most expensive piece of bushcraft kit that I produce, but it's probably the best quality piece. So again, as you can see inside here, we've got the half inch by five inch ferro cerium rod. This comes complete with a um, ceramic striker as well. There are two pieces of 550 paracord attached, both of which are 40 plus inches in length and a small carabiner there as well to create a complete kit. So as you can see, I use nicely grained olive wood handles. These are all hand, hand carved, hand finished, sanded, oiled, recessed, drilled holes there by myself. I do all the work here in, in my top shed, uh, here at home. Same with the, uh, the striker handle there. That is a nice kit. 
and I've currently used my old prototype that I, I first experimented with when producing these and I, I've used that now for over four, getting on for five years and it's still going strong today. I use it on most of my videos when I'm up the woods fire lighting. So I do prove out my products before selling anything. Next we have our char cloth. So this is the Mad Dog char cloth. In here you will always get at least four if not five rolls of 100% cotton charred material. Now whilst initially it doesn't look like a lot of material, each one of these rolls you can go ahead and open out and you will get quite a substantial amount. This is the smaller one of the five in this pack. So you do get a lot of material enabling you to get many, many fires established. I'll put that back later on. So again, that's the Mad Dog char cloth. I always, like I say, I always try and give more than stated. I'd rather be on the, on the over the top side rather than under. Next up is my Mad Dog Jewels, these are the little fire lighting pellets. So these are wax covered kerosene paraffin, uh, paraffin waxed covered pellets with a fibrous material and a accelerant included in them. These are really effective, especially when fresh. They're good bad weather fire lighting sure fire pellets. So going to the second row we have one of my mad dog monster paw pads so this is the utility leather pad multiple multiple uses as i've demonstrated in other videos nice size piece of leather there soft supple leather very versatile nice bit of kit to add into any load out this is my natural jute netting which is great for flint and steel fire lighting to be used as your bird's nest tinder or to cradle smaller pieces of tinder that are sometimes hard to handle. It just gives you a little advantage, a little edge when using flint and steel. Obviously takes a spark from a ferro cerium rod as well. So that's a nice, a nice um, addition to any fire kit to have especially if you scrape the fibres with the edge of a knife or your ceramic striker. Really nice, nice tin to source that. Then we have the Mad Dog Fire Wicks. So again, paraffin wax impregnated jute strands of cordage. I say jute, it's actually 100% cotton the centre is. And again, with an added accelerant. So these are nice little bits of kit that you can cut and chop to, to fit any size of fire kit. You can use as much or as little of these as required. Quite a versatile bit of kit. So I advertise five in here, but there's two, four, six, there's seven in this packet. There will never be less than the stated amount, usually always more. Next we have the charred jute. The Hessian jute, so the same material as I've previously shown here, but this is a charred version produced in the same way as standard char cloth. But this, if you've tried any of this, it holds an ember for a lot longer and it will continue to smolder a lot longer than standard char cloth. And my personal opinion is it gives a lot hotter ember. So another great addition to your flint and steel kit. Next up we have the Mad Dog biscuits. These are the fire lighting biscuits. So they are the 100% cotton pads. Again impregnated with paraffin based wax for extension of that flame. And again I advertise five in here but I think there's at least seven in here. And again, I'm limited by the postage and packaging for weight and size of the parcels. And that's why I do what I do when it comes to the amounts that I, I give out with any of my products. So they're a good all-round weather 
fire lighter you can go ahead in good conditions and chop these into four so you get at least four fires out of each disc and if the conditions are adverse you can use a whole one break them in half roosh them up open the fibers out and you're good to go with that they're pretty much sure fire all of the stuff that i sell i use myself i carry myself in various kits or various forms so next up we have the fatwood starting splint so again high resin fatwood pieces thin enough to be included in a lightweight to fire kit you can go ahead and scrape this into my dust for initial tinder or use them as a an accelerant or a extender so once you've got your fire established you can add a couple of these splints onto your your baby fire and you're pretty much guaranteed sure fire with that so they're only lightweight they're only small and thin but they're more than adequate to get any fire underway I'm just showing these because you can you get a rough idea of the amount that to supply so over here I have my flint pieces so this is English flint sourced from the Norfolk area of the UK and I do a sample bag in there of my char cloth to go along with it and again I advertise five small pieces but as you can see by this bag there is usually more quite a ways more than five pieces I have to produce small pieces of flint like this again because of the postage and packaging so it's weight and size dependent however I make them all adequate where anybody with practice would be able to get a an ember established using any of these pieces of flint so to my left now we have some natural capok so this is a flash tinder which you can use as a an initial tinder but it is a flash tinder ideally used with um, ferro cerium rod as the flash point of this stuff is too high really to use directly with flint and steel with any degree of success so i'd recommend using this with your ferro cerium rod or a direct open flame but it is a flash tinder so you've got to get your preparation for your next stage ready but it's good fun stuff to play about with and this is natural capoc it's not synthetic um, you'll notice that it still in some cases comes with the seeds and bits of seed pod that are still in the in the mix there from the actual capoc um, bud from the actual fruit of the plant so that's the capoc here i've got some of my activated charcoal now nah, or carbon this stuff is pharmaceutical grade it isn't just remnants of old fires it is proper ground crystallized carbon granules and this stuff is great for making your own water filters or emergency water filter kits etc and I advertise 50 grams but it's usually more than that as you can see there's a good amount in this bag you can make many filters out of this amount of material let's have a breather <laughs> mm. so carrying on I don't want to draw it out too much but there's a lot of product here to quickly go through and show you guys and lasses so please bear with me so next we have the kiln dried wooden shavings again ideal for birds nest material or practicing especially if any of you guys and lasses are teaching youngsters or beginners then you've already got an ideal tinder to experiment and practice with so not much else to be said about that this is another one of my ferro cerium rod kits that i produce and this is a mad dog monster without the the finished handles so this is probably more of a survival utility piece of equipment so this is a drilled ferro cerium rod blank again five inch by half inch 
and I do my Cobra Weave lanyard on there. Again, 40 inches of lanyard and a carabiner attachment. So you can attach this to any other kit with the back of your 90 degree spine on your knife or something like one of my ceramic strikers. These are very effective. You've not got handles that are gonna get damaged or come off eventually, which up to now, none of mine have. So that's the, uh, the basic Mad Dog Monster rod without the handles. So these also are to cost point. What I've tried to do is pitch at different prices. So my eight mil by eight mil small ferro cerium rod is the cheapest or more budget friendly of the ferro cerium rods. This comes in just after that, a little bit higher in price and moving on to the proper Mad Dog Monster kit. So this fills the gap in between those two ends of the spectrum. Next up, I have some of my chem lights or snap lights. Now these are only a low output. They're not massively brilliant and bright. You're not going to be able to use these as a, you know, a backdrop lighting for a film, <laughs> if you're videoing, etc. But they're more than enough for local work, map reading, camp tasks. They give a nice low glow without it being too stark. And they do work or emit light for the stated eight hours. So again, the 12 hour, they're actually rated at 12 hours, but I know I can guarantee them for eight. Um, these are the emergency light sticks, snap light, chem lights, and they come in blue, um, like an aqua, a red, and an orange. Those. This is my tarred jute cordage. So it's traditionally tarred, so it's not over the top, it's not absolutely caked in it, but it's enough to preserve the jute against the weather. And with it being jute, you can also feather this up and turn it into a, a tinder ball, which takes a spark very easily. Again, I've demonstrated that on other videos. And because it's natural jute, it can be left in place and Mother Nature will take care of it and it will return back to the earth without leaving plastic and uh, nylon cordage everywhere. Um, I sell 50 feet of this. And again, it's a generous 50 feet, usually more than that. If any of you guys and lasses do buy any of this, I hank this stuff so that the long flying pig's tail end is the one that you pull and you can pull off just as much of that as you need. It'll come, come off easily and freely without knotting so that you don't have to undo the whole hank of cordage should you not want that amount of, of um, cordage so that's the jute tarred jute cordage and then we have the traditional sulfur matches these are more a nod to the past really um, so I've got some sulfur obviously molten on to the end of a wooden spill which you can then go ahead, use your flint and steel kit to establish an ember, introduce one of these sulphur spills onto that ember, which will then ignite and you've got an open flame source then. It's an old traditional method, um, literally hundreds and hundreds, well thousands of years old, these date back to. Again, another video is on my channel demonstrating these these are a bit of an interest point, really, rather than, I wouldn't say, survival equipment, per se. But good fun stuff to mess about with. So that's been a bit of an overview of my current products. I've got other ideas and projects that I'm working through in the background. I just wanted to show you guys and lasses what I currently offer on my eBay shop, because... You know, on the photographs, you don't always get a true represent representation of the amounts that you get. And my price point is quite a ways under most people's. So I believe that some people may think, well, for that price, it can't be any good, you know, sort of thing. Well, what you see is what you get. This is across the board, rough random selection of my stock. So they're all pretty much the same. Um, like I say, 
you'll usually get more than advertised stated not less um, my wife mrs mad dog she also has some wares on our like a joint ebay shop and she sells you know um, ladies clothing and shoes and some household um, utility items as well um, they're all listed along with my bushcraft stuff so if you're interested in any of this i'll leave a link in the description box below as always to my little shop or our little shop there will be more products being added as time goes on hopefully with the prevailing wind and all that <laughs> so um, thank you all very much for your support if you're still with me and still watching i appreciate it very much i'm not going to go deep into depth on each one of these items it just be too much of a long ass video but um, i have got videos showing the individual bits of kit for most of them and um yeah i'll leave it at that for now thank you all very much take care and until next time which won't be long mad dog signing off yeah <coughs>